Good morning, Mars. Good she came prepared. Also happening today, the Texas A&M Parsons Mounted Cavalry passing right through Arizona on the way to perform at the Rose Parade on New Year's Day. That's exciting. Yeah, this is really cool. So Macy Hudson joins us now live to tell us about the trip. Good morning, Macy. First of all, tell us what is the Texas A&M Cavalry? <laughs> Did I get the name right? I screwed it up somewhere. She, Parsons Mounted Cavalry. But there yes, we go. You got it. She's paying attention. So. <laughs> So we're cadets at, in the Texas A&M Corps of Cadets. We're in a special unit um, consisting of 75 horses and 80 cadets. Um, so the cadets mm. completely run the organization, take care of the horses, and you know participate in parades and marchings at Texas A&M every weekend. That oh, is wow. really impressive. And so how does one become a cadet in this particular unit? So you can try out as a sophomore. So during your entire year, you'll try out, you'll come out, you'll learn everything about the horses, about our facilities. And then if you're accepted um, into the program, into the unit, you'll be in the unit as a junior and a senior cadet. Macy, I have to ask you this because I know that taking care of a horse is yeah. a lot of work. How do you balance schoolwork and then taking care of a horse and doing all that you have to do to prepare for this as well? Right, it's quite it's quite a lot of it's quite a lot of work for the cadets, but I think the way we balance it is we all work as a team. So if you know a cadet is struggling in their classes, we all help each other out and we pick up the slack for that person. All right, let's talk about the big Rose Bowl parade then. How were you chosen to participate in that huge event? So we actually decided to apply last August. Um, we thought it'd be a you know, a big opportunity for this unit, a big learning experience for the cadets who had to plan it. And so when we were chosen, obviously we were so excited and the cadets all came together and have been planning this entire event and the trip mm. for the entire semester. This is so cool. Uh, yeah, and so sometimes in a parade you see everyone walk and then you have a little spot where you, you'll stop and maybe do a little special performance or something like that. Uh, will you guys be doing anything like that or, or does the parade consist of just the walking through? We'll just keep walking. Okay. We're such a big unit and with the big crowds, we're just going to walk on by and wave and say hello. Very okay. exciting to walk on by, though, that's for sure. Real quick, Macy, do you have to do anything mm -hmm. to kind of prepare the horses to be in mm -hmm. front of all those people and the loud noises and things like that? So our horses actually participate in a march-in with Texas A&M Corps of Cadets every football game. So they're used to big crowds, and we've done big parades. Um, and, you know, we train all semester. and. You know, the majority of the summer for these horses to be prepared for big, big crowds. So they're used to it and they'll be ready for it. Very well, congratulations cool. on participating in the Rose Bowl Parade. Have fun and be safe out there. We'll keep an eye out for you, Macy. Thank, Thank you again. Thank you so much.